today we are here for the most important event of the year. Um, we are here for an off-road wedding at Mini Moab. Brian and Jill. It's going to be absolutely crazy. So they decided to come out here to Mini Moab and have their wedding reception uh, with everybody wheeling and getting crazy for the day. You know how our Mini Moab videos usually go. So you're definitely gonna wanna check this one out. Oh yeah. Game time. Happy marriage, happy life um, to the couple we are out here with today. Um, I love you guys. I love everybody. Thank you for. I love it. I love this. I love it. Bye. Mwah. This means like everything to us. Like everybody showing up. Like this is about. This is like the what? Like when we got married, this means just as much to us. Like this is what we wanted. This is like perfect. Um, her favorite holiday is Halloween, and we're just like, you know what? Let's just go get married on Halloween as soon as we get there. And you know, and I don't know if anyone, most of you probably know, like anyone can marry you in Colorado. Yep. So our dog was the witness. Yep. <laughs> we got the paw print. We got a paw print on our marriage certificate, which was like fucking badass. Like, like yeah, let's let's just do that. Let's just do that. That's that's good. Yeah. So. Um, some of you, yeah, I haven't met half of you. I don't even know <laughs> who the hell any of you are, but like, I, we don't care. Like, this is, this, this is what we wanted. Amazing. You know, um, in 2000, 
22, we met at a Jeep event at this bar called Poopies. And some of you, if you travel, you know what, what Poopies is as in Savannah, Illinois. And uh, we met, and without going into a long story, um, the day after we met, I was I got Miley the dog. And then the day after that was Memorial Day, and all three of us went out, and that was it. It was over. We haven't been apart since. So, like, I always joke with her, like, the dog has 23 hours privilege over you, so you better <laughs> pipe down. <laughs> <laughs> the reason we chose here instead of, like, if you've seen on the first event, we were going to do Mount Baldy. But, the, but Josh told me that uh, if we – some of us, some of the rigs are not licensed, and we wanted, like, some of the... Yeah. We definitely wanted Jason here. Yep. Definitely had to have you here, and I didn't want you to get any kind of tickets or anything going up. Yeah. Old stage, so I'm like, yeah, we changed it. <laughs> and seeing the, the other buggy that's here, I don't know if that's actually legal. <laughs> but, don't worry about like, it. Like, that's why <laughs> it's fine. Before. It's legal. <laughs> yeah, that's why we... Four years ago, Josh... I'm over here. Yeah. Out <laughs> here, and Jeremy got me in his Jeep, and I've been sucked in ever since. That's how I ended up out here. But um, I was living out here until we met. Like every winter, I was trying to come out here every winter, and now we met. Long story short, she can't leave her job to come out here. I work seasonal, so we try and come out here whenever we can. Yeah, that's about it. So thank you, everybody, week? for coming. It means a lot to us. Huh? Thank, so. you, Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. switch up the pace for a second because I still got to give my speech. I first met Brian and Jill last year during a group run up Eagle Rock. It was that sweet spot in the season right before winter started to take over and make the trail very unpredictable. From the moment I met them, it was clear these two weren't just here for the trail. They were here for the experience, for the camaraderie, and for the sheer joy of the journey. That day wasn't just a great run. It became one of my favorite memories on Eagle Rock. So thank you, Brian and Joel. Even though life and crazy schedules kept us from hitting the trail together as often as I would have liked, when Brian reached out to me about creating something special for their wedding, I didn't think twice. I knew I had to be a part of this. Brian and Jill aren't just cool people. They are the kind of folks who make the off-road community what it is generous, adventurous, and always willing to help. Whether it's spotting someone through a tough line or offering some advice, they've taught me and so many others a lot. As we gathered on this day in this beautiful wild place, it was a reminder of what off-roading really is about. It's not just about the Facebook groups, the sponsors, or even the events. It's about moments like this, friends, family, and community coming together to celebrate something bigger. Brian and Jill, just like the trails we all love, marriage will bring its twists, its turns, and its challenges. But I know you'll navigate it the same way you tackle everything else, with patience, humor, and a whole heart. Samantha and I wish you both a lifetime of love, adventure, and unforgettable moments. Congratulations, and here's the trails ahead, both on and off the road.